compass. Sun. It takes sunlight an average of eight minutes to reach the Earth. The Sun is one of the 100 billion stars of our Milky Way galaxy. In eight billion years, the sun will bloat up to 256 times its current size and it will expand to consume the Earth's orbit. Such a wonderful warm day! That is all because of a small but very bright circle in the sky, the sun. The sun is a star that is very, very far away from us. It is so huge that it weighs 700 times more than all the planets together and so hot it can melt a diamond. Because it's so heavy, the sun is pulling on all of the planets and is making them rotate around it. It takes our planet 365 days to make a full circle. That's one year. The sun is the main source of energy for all life on Earth, and we wouldn't be here without it. There are trillions of stars just like the sun in the universe. Many of them have planetary systems just like ours. And maybe on one of them, there is life. Mercury Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system. It is also the closest to the Sun. Mercury has no atmosphere. Most of the craters on Mercury were named after famous writers and artists. This is Mercury the smallest planet in the solar system and one that is closest to the Sun. In size and appearance, it is similar to the Moon. Perhaps a long time ago, it used to be a satellite of Venus. Mercurial daily life looks rather strange. One day lasts over two years. The Sun is three times bigger than it is on the Earth. And during the day, it changes its size and can even move in different directions. Such a long day leads to extremely hot temperatures on the surface, and at night, with no heat or atmosphere, it becomes terribly cold. But at a depth of only three feet, this difference is not felt, and the temperature always remains the same. The best time to see Mercury is in the evening when it is just above the horizon. At this time, it shines brighter than all the stars in the sky but soon disappears following the sun. Venus. Venus is the third brightest object in the night sky seen from Earth after the sun and moon. As Venus rotates very slowly on its axis, a day on Venus is longer than the whole year. In mythology, Venus was the Roman goddess of love and beauty. Meet Venus, the second planet from the Sun. It is very similar to the Earth. It too has an atmosphere and it is roughly the same size and weight. But unlike other planets, Venus rotates in the opposite direction and very slowly. The surface of Venus is hidden under a thick layer of clouds and scientists have sent a research apparatus to study it. It flew there for a whole four months but couldn't even hold out for two hours. The device exploded in the atmosphere because the pressure on Venus is almost 100 times greater than on Earth. Also, 
Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system because a thick, 20-kilometer layer of clouds of sulfuric acid and a dense atmosphere of carbon dioxide keep in the sun's rays, creating a greenhouse effect. Over there, on Venus, it is always twilight and acid rain is constantly falling with raging hurricanes and lightning storms and erupting volcanoes. For a long time, people believed that the Earth was flat and rested on three elephants who stood on a turtle who swam in an ocean. The Earth has an invisible shield, the magnetic field, that protects us from dangerous cosmic radiation. The highest point of our planet is Everest, and the lowest is the Mariana Trench. Midst of the vast number of stars and galaxies, there is a tiny blue dot. It is our home, the planet Earth. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and for now, the only known place that has life. The Earth rotates on its axis. That is why we see day change to night. This axis is tilted and is always pointed in one direction, towards Polaris. Because of this tilt, the Earth positions its sides toward the Sun differently in each season. When solar rays fall straight, it gets hotter and summer comes. If the rays fall at an angle, the heat is lower and winter comes. Significant areas of our planet are covered with oceans. The largest of them is the Pacific Ocean, and it is bigger than all the continents combined. The Earth is inhabited by millions of species, underwater, on the ground, and in the air, and they are all connected with each other. Our home is a fragile organism, and we should treat it very carefully. Moon The moon's gravitational force pulls on water in the ocean. The moon is the only celestial body other than Earth on which humans have currently set foot. The moon is always showing the same face to us. Hey kids, here's the Earth. And that's the moon, the satellite of the Earth. That means that it goes around the Earth. That's why we see it travel across the sky, day and night. Though it seems like you can reach it with your hand, it's actually really far away. If we decided to walk to it, it would take us almost 10 years. Or if we took a spaceship, it would only take a day. The Earth is 80 times heavier than the moon. But things on the moon are six times lighter. So you can easily lift a cow or jump very high. Unlike the Earth, the moon doesn't have any atmosphere. So it's a little weird there. There's no air. You can't hear sounds. And it gets freezing cold when in the shadow and steaming hot in the sunlight. But in spite of all those problems, the first human lunar colony is only 15 years away. You can come too if you want. Some comets have tails. In fact, one comet has six tails. Comets originate in the Oort cloud, which is situated far beyond the borders of the solar system. Scientists believe that dinosaurs that lived 65 million years ago became extinct due to the collision of the Earth with a comet. Since ancient times, people noticed bright-tailed stars appeared in the sky just as suddenly as they disappeared. Today, we know that these were not stars. They were comets. A comet is a small celestial body the size of an average city, which consists of ice, rock, and frozen gases. It rushes out of the dark depths of space, remaining invisible for a long time. But when this dirty snowball approaches the sun, 
it gets heated and forms a bright trail of dust and gas that can stretch for millions of miles. Some comets, like planets, orbit the sun over a period of a few years, but most of them need hundreds, thousands, and even millions of years. For example, the brightest comet of the last century, Hale-Bopp, won't come back to us for 2,000 years. Which object is smaller? Mm-hmm. Which object is larger? Mm-hmm. Which object is larger? Mm-hmm. Which object is a planet? Mm -mm. Which object is closer to the sun? Mm-hmm. Great! New mission available. <laughs>